Okay, so in this video, we're going to be doing another Unreal Engine 5.1 VR virtual reality test with Nanite Trees and Lumen. But with that being said, if you get dizzy quickly, I would not suggest you watching this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Put my goggles on, get my hands. I still got to upgrade these. And uh, let's move around. Let's go to this middle area right here. Now, one of the biggest difference between my tests a couple of weeks back and this test here is that this is like twice, actually no, it's like four times bigger than that test that I did. And the only caveat to that is I had to turn my settings down to high. So this is not even epic, this is not even cinematics, because honestly I could not run it at a decent frame rate at cinematic mode, because we do have nanite trees all of the trees that you're seeing here right now are all nanite enabled and there are no low quality trees in here these are all high quality mega scans assets we're talking about millions of triangles in here per tree so it's pretty exciting now a couple of days ago i made a video about fortnite and how some of these technologies actually made it in the newest chapter of Fortnite. And people were kind of getting mad at me because they were arguing, no, you know, Red Dead looks a lot better than Fortnite. But I think they were misunderstanding what I was saying. What I was saying was I was excited about the technology behind Fortnite Chapter 4 because now it has Lumen, Nanite Trees, Nanite, uh, I mean, vir Virtual Shadow Maps and TSR. So... I was more excited about the technology that was being implemented in Fortnite. Even though, to be honest, compared to the earlier version of Fortnite, Chapter Chapter 4 looks incredible, okay? I really just wanted to clear that out because I'm not saying Fortnite looks better than Red Dead. That's not the point, but the point is they're showcasing this same exact technology that I'm showcasing right now. And as you can see, this looks incredible right here, all right? So we do have Lumen, like I mentioned, so we have dynamic lighting in here, which is pretty darn cool. And I think some of y'all wanted me to get close to one of these trees here. So let me see where I'm at, and I'll kind of just walk towards it. I mean, get closer a little bit? Okay, I can't get it more closer. That's as close as I can get. I mean, that looks pretty darn incredible. I mean, obviously, the collision is not set up properly because they're, <laughs> they're kind of going through the trees, but, man, they look good. And what's cool about it is we're going to get a lot more of these trees, hopefully, from Quixel Mega Scans, right? But I'll go ahead and shut up now. See so y'all can just enjoy this here. And what's crazy about this is you actually see the shadow of my hand on that tree. See it? There is a little bit of a delay, but you can see it, which is super freaking cool. And again, another cool thing about Nanite is that you can actually photo scan everything around you. You know, you don't have to wait for them to come out with these assets. You can actually do it yourself, which I made a video about, I think, a year and a half ago. You can photo scan it, use reality capture, and import those assets, and pretty much build your own small little world, right? Just take the best things in the real life and bring them into Unreal, and you have your own world. Pretty cool. And to be honest, if the metaverse is going to look like this, I'll be more excited about it. And what I'm eventually going to do is create a small little VR experiences 
and have people be able to play it on their own. So if you just want to chill one day after work, walk around in the forest or the beach or in a cave or in a scary house, you can do so. That is the future of Jay's films. And like I mentioned earlier, unfortunately, my request to get out of the military early got denied, so I'm stuck. So I'm going to have to keep balancing YouTube and life for a while. Until I can't do it anymore, right? Look at these shadows here. Let's see if I can kind of walk to that. I don't want to hit anything here on my desk. Okay, that was... That is just... Crazy. And again, like many of you all here on the channel, I have... I was lucky enough to see the evolution of gaming. You know, from Nintendo, for me, it was Nintendo. To this. Game Boy, to this. pretty awesome because in 30 years you know when I'm like 60 <laughs> what is it gonna look like I'm gonna watch this video hopefully I'm still alive and I'll be like wow I thought that was good graphics back then 30 years ago it's exciting and I think these are right here are the black alder trees that you can download also in the marketplace for free they're all nanites, but I do like that European hornbeam. They look so cool. All right, let's see what's over here. I mean, we can walk around in this place for a little bit. And again, eventually I want a treadmill so I can actually walk or maybe some sensors. Let me see where I'm at in my space. Okay, I might be able to walk around right here. Oh, I'm tethered though, so I do have wire connected to my goggles. It is pretty relaxing to be in here. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have my headphones playing that nature sound. And eventually I'm gonna save up for, I think it's called Varho Aero or something like that. Apparently that's like the best of the best VR goggles. So we're gonna try that maybe next year. We're at mind space. So we're good. <laughs> now all we're missing is a dinosaur chasing us. Or a little girl. Like a scary, creepy little girl over there, you know? That would be fun. So wicked.
you know, eventually we're going to have an RTX 8090 that's going to be able to run this cinematics 120 frames per second. I just hope that I'm alive for it, you know? I would love to test this scene out in that. I'm going to write my name on this. Jay. Ah! But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these tests if you want to see it. Some different environments, but so far, this is my favorite. Because it just looks so freaking nice. And again, I'm sorry I was not able to show it in full cinematic. It just was not possible right now. Maybe one day. But yeah, let me, know in the, let me know in the comments below what you'll think about this little demo. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm just going to turn the video recording off and just hang out here for a couple of minutes. Maybe find like hidden treasure or something.